This right here is a Chromebook. Not very impressive, right? Eh, you got 20, 40 frames on this uh, Tomb Raider benchmark. But this is actually outputting to my main display and then also outputting to my capture card. So it's actually doing two displays and outputting this. So the performance is actually not too terrible compared to what we're dealing with. This is integrated graphics. And frankly, if I wasn't mirroring this display like I am through an, uh, an output, this would probably have a little bit better performance, probably an average of about 30 frames. As you see right here, we're getting about 15 frames. But I'm making this video to kind of show you that Chromebooks are a cheap alternative and also you can do some gaming just out of the box using Chrome or a Chromebook. It's not a great experience. Obviously, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider could look a lot better. But given its integrated graphics uh, and APU, typically APUs just don't perform all that well. Maybe in Windows you could squeeze a little bit more power, but this particular APU for Chromebook is, is not even available in Windows. So that's a kind of an interesting thing. Overall score right here says about 18 FPS. I've run this without mirroring and I was getting about 30 FPS. But instead of just showing this benchmark, I wanted to do something a little bit more. I wanted to actually play a game as well. So what I'm gonna do here is quit out and just kind of show you my Chrome OS system because it's a little bit unique and I utilize a project called Breath. So I'm gonna come over here and I show you a, a new Linux laptop thing. It's made by Milky Developer. Big shout out to him. I've actually talked to him uh, through GitHub, through some things as I'm submitting issues that I run into because it's not a perfect, it's a brand new project, but it does give me stock Linux on my Chromebook, which basically means I can turn it into somewhat of a gaming machine, not a powerhouse per se, but it does open the door to a lot more options than if I just left the stock Chrome OS on. Uh, so this is the actual project. If you go milkydeveloper.github.io uh, forward slash cb dash Linux, that's what this is. And it basically just uses the Chrome OS kernel and then actually puts regular Linux on it, which is amazing. It, it, it's really great. Uh, depending on what you have, you may have some audio issues and some other shortcomings I'll talk about here in a little bit. But this is the stock experience. Um, and if I pull up my NeoFetch, you can see what I'm running. This is actually a Lenovo C13 Yoga a really nice Chromebook. I know that's kind of an oxymoron to many, but it's a 16, just the specs alone here is all I'm looking about. I don't really care about Chrome OS, not for this video at least. And I, it has 16 gigs of memory. It has a 3700C, which is four cores, eight threads. It is a pretty nice laptop from a specs point of view. So let's see what we can stretch on here. So I just showed you Tomb Raider. I wanna kinda of jump into some uh, Rocket League now and see if we can't do something and actually play a game. I got this right here. We got our Xbox 360 controller, which I love the 360 controllers because they just work no matter what system you're on. So we're gonna come over to Heroic and come over to some Rocket League and I'm gonna just try and play a regular match, maybe a 2v2, and see how this does. I'll fast forward through a lot of it and see, maybe do some slowdowns during some highlights and maybe me scroll, scoring a goal if I can do that. Now, again, we're running into some issues with how this is configured with the monitoring because I'm actually sending two video signals out, one to my screen that I'm seeing and one to my capture card that you're seeing. So again, FPS will suffer because of how I'm capturing this as this is having to do some rendering on a secondary screen that normally wouldn't exist. But I'm gonna run it in 720p. Just know I could probably get away with 1080p in Rocket League because it's a little bit older game than Rise of the Tomb Raider, but I still think we can play it normally even though it's doing these extra things. It looks like my teammate's offline, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see if I can't score a goal on one of these guys. Oh, there we go. He showed up. Ah. There we go. Got a little bit of a goal. Sweet. Look at that. 
won. And I got MVP. <laughs> so, hey, that's not bad at all. I'd say I'm going to take that as a win. They forfeited uh, from that. But as you saw, it was playable, albeit uh, 720p, and I had to blow that screen up a little bit to get this to go. Uh, so there you go. This is somewhat of an idea for the future of a Chromebook. However, I want to talk about some of the downsides now. So a lot of times I like to use Brave Browser here, which I kind of showcased a little bit. You can do a little bit more gaming. You're not stuck on the Chrome OS. You have a lot of freedom with Linux, which is nice. And obviously I showed some of the gaming aspects. We now have unlocked a lot of the processor to where we can actually play some games at like 720 that are somewhat modern. And we, we have a lot of benefits, but now the downsides here is this project is still very new and the support on it, uh, needs help and, it, and honestly this developer needs your help whether it's you try it out and you want to just submit something to their issues tab here uh, if we go to issues you can see all the different things people are running into uh, this is me down here with incompatible hardware c13 uh, the morpheus model which is amd i was having uh, some audio issues which is issue and you you see audio is one of the thing that just kind of keeps popping up with these chromebooks because how google handles audio in linux is very odd and and very strange so it's something that uh, takes a little bit to work through and the more people that can try this out the better and then make your issue in here do like a d message drop and then uh, kind of uh, showcase what problems you're having issues with. So that's one of the big things that are happening with the Chromebook. The other big thing is right here on this picture of a Chromebook. You'll see that uh, the top keys, there's no F keys. So this is an issue that needs to be remapped and the developer's still working on how to remap this just right. And then probably another thing is the touch screen is obviously not functional. Maybe in the future, this is obviously down the line, it's not a priority, but that's another thing that I have problems with on this one right here. But going forward, what am I gonna do with this uh, Chromebook? And what I'm gonna probably do is reflash it with Chrome OS because I don't think this is quite ready for prime time. I just wanted to give you a taste of what to expect and what to see. And if you really wanted to pour the hours in to make your functional, your, your model completely functional, you probably could do that with this project. But I wanted to just kind of say, hey, these Chromebooks are not bad hardware per se. It's just they're purposely gipped a lot of times by Chrome OS and unlocking them can be a little tricky. However, having said that, there is some really bright things happening in the future with Borealis and some other really cool aspects of Chromebooks. I, I've been talking with like Luke Short and seeing some of his stuff that he's made in last year, specifically going over GPU acceleration and then utilizing Vulkan in the Chrome OS. Not quite there, but it's getting there. And I think any any minute now we'll have that. Like I said, I'm gonna reflash that and that'll probably be my next Chromebook video. But I at least wanted to give you a quick overview of what to expect on Chrome books that you want to completely morph into Linux. It can be done and using this project, I find it pretty darn easy other than the audio issues and other things that I just don't have time to really uh, tr tackle as far as like getting the F keys and reutilizing some of these function keys that Chrome OS uses would be awesome. But having said all that, this is what you can do with Chromebook. They're not bad. It's just they're way underutilized right now and that's gonna be fixed in the very near future but with all that said let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below and i'll see you in the next one